In this video, we are going to learn how to watercolor a grape hyacinth or a grape muscari. Right now, they are growing everywhere in the Pacific Northwest, and they're super happy little flowers um, that the bunnies really like in my yard, too. So all of ours have kind of been nibbled away. <laughs> um, you're going to start with a little C curve. And I'm just going to start by showing you kind of the shape of this flower. You're going to draw a ball or a circle in the middle of your stem. So this will be the stem, this little C curve, and then a ball. And we're going to follow that ball all the way up to the top and make kind of this triangular shape. So it almost looks like the shape a leaf would make if we outlined that. That would almost be kind of like a basic leaf shape. And these little muscari kind of grow in these triangular patterns in nature. So when we do our watercolor in a second, I want you to just keep that general shape because everything you do in art should be based around a shape. And in nature, you can pull these shapes and really see how the plants grow. So we're going to take our watercolor paper and... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a little bit of green, really apply that pigment nicely on your brush. I've got a lot of water, so I'm going to just kind of dip it off. And you're going to do a very light pressure on your brush. And we're going to do that same C curve that we just did in just our little drawing. And we'll wash our brush off. I'm gonna move that pencil over there. And we're gonna grab some, I'm gonna grab some indigo on my brush. And I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of purple. Because these, although these are called grape muscari, they do come kind of in a more purpley hue. Some of them are light blue. So you might want to just kind of do a little bit of color play. So I've got my nice deep kind of like purpley blue here. And I want you to get a lot of pigment on your brush for the very top because the very top of the muscari of these grape hyacinth are very um, compact. So it's going to show, I want more pigment up there to show the more compact Kind of pattern. So once you get just the top of that stippled in with these tiny little dots, you're going to dip your brush in the water and pull off some of that excess color and you're going to keep going. And now you see that I've kind of lightened this pigment on my brush by just a little bit. And I'm going to keep going in with just these little dots and I'm going to pull the water off one more time, touch my brush to my paper towel. I'm gonna go in with the lightest value. And I think it needs to be a little bit more round, which is why we have the little reference picture. Makes it kind of nice. And I might then go back in with just strictly purple. And I might do just a few little dabs where I think maybe the shadow would be. So it'd probably be on the bottom side of this little guy. And I want to make sure that I'm dabbing my color in places that aren't going to like completely bleed the picture together. I'm going to wash my brush off. So there is the flower part of the grape hyacinth. It almost looks a little lilac-y. Um, but when we add these leaves here, it'll totally change your mind. Um, the leaves are really grassy looking. So we're going to start down at the base and we're going to follow the C curve. And we're going to make a nice little C that goes that way. And now we're going to follow that up and we're going to apply pressure with our brush and start to release, release, release. So you've got this nice little blade of grass and you can kind of play with that water bubble there, make it kind of come back down. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Pressure, 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 release. Add a little bit more 
pigment. And maybe we'll do one more off of this little guy. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Release. So there is our little grape hyacinth. And you can kind of play around with this now and make a little collage of many, or you can turn it into a floral. Um, I have to drag that purple down instead of adding my green, which is my intent. Um, making a little floral wreath. Um, you can add some highlights or lowlights in there. Um, whatever you kind of want to do 